Zimbabwe has been under archaic economic sanctions imposed by the U.S. and some Western countries for more than 20 years over its land reform program. Zimbabwe's current president, Emerson Mnangagwa, has since started a re-engagement policy with the former colonial powers to end the country's isolation. President Gengop says the need to abolish the sanctions is gaining momentum. Uh, we were together at Davos, right in there, okay. And we definitely also have to intensify, fight for sanctions to be lifted. I don't know why we have to apply sanctions to a country to try and do feed and work to develop their own country. So that was very strongly supported, I think. Yeah. And from now on, people are going to talk about it because it's unfair. And then also, to come back to the Commonwealth, I think, because some other countries come there. So these are the things we've been talking about. And I think it should uh, materialize very soon. The Zimbabwean diplomat is satisfied with the collaboration between her country and Namibia. Chikava, during her tenure, oversaw the inauguration of Zimbabwe's dry port and the elevation of the Joint Commission of Cooperation to a binational commission last year. Others include cooperation agreements between regional governments of the two countries. We feel that we have something to do together as uh, the provinces. This year we are expecting maybe almost 200 to 300 tons maize from the project in Vungu Vungu where we planted the seed for maize. And uh, we are sure that you'll be informed when the, the produce has been produced. The first one we did 190 tons, but unfortunately the accountability was not very good. We, we are monitoring that this time the accountability should be above board. In Omaheke we, we have not done much, but we have a, a dairy which we are training with for an indigenous uh, Ashienda farm. We have already organized some agronomists who are coming here to help him. Namibia is set to host the inaugural session of the Binational Commission on a date yet to be announced. Blanche Corres, NBC News.